Hey guys, welcome to Watchdog Central where every now and again I like to make an email section special. Not because I can't take criticism and I can't take people insulting me because let's be honest, I've been up for three years and I absolutely adore you guys that come in and insult me. It really, really does liven up my day. I just like making these videos to take the piss out of retarded assholes who come on YouTube and talk absolute fucking bullshit. So let's get on with the email section special. So, what gave me motivation to make this video today was I was listening to the new Megadeth song that came out this week. I'm going to leave the link down below to that classic song. And some fuck stain on the video came out with one of the most ridiculous comments I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. He stated that Megadeth haven't released a decent album since Holy Wars. Okay, so I previously put up a video on JLS when they split up because they're an untalented piece of shit group from the UK and this is my personal opinion, I don't like them. And I received shitloads of emails from these fangirls, fantars, whatever the fuck tars, fuck stains, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to read a load of these among a couple of others sprinkled about the place. Okay, let's start off with the first one from a JLS fan. You're out of order. JLSI amazing. Sorry, but the spelling is really fucked up on the half of these. You're out of order. JLSRI amazing. Whenever they cry, I cry. Whenever they laugh, you got it right, I laugh. <laughs> because they're my world. They mean everything to me, so stop abusing them. Listen, motherfucker, I don't think you know what the word abuse actually means. Look it up in a dictionary. I ain't abusing no one. Stop abusing them. They have done nothing to you, have they? Question mark. I thought no. So stop being nasty. Just think, what if that was you that everyone was abusing? You wouldn't like it, would you? Question mark. <laughs> so you think about what you're saying before you say it. Okay, Watchdog Central. <laughs> next video, next one, come on. We have another JLS one here. You are pathetic and dumb. I don't like JLS, but at least I give respect. Go get a life. So let me get this right. You came into JLS split up, LOL, One Direction will be next video of mine. You don't like JLS. That means you probably don't listen to their music. But somehow, mysteriously, you stumbled upon my video on YouTube and you decided to come into my video and insult me because I slated a group that you don't like. Am I supposed to believe that horse shit? Really? Next motherfucking comment. Okay, so the next comment comes from a dot dot curve fan. This was posted on the dot dot curve sucks rocket ship to the moon is garbage video that I put up. As an Australian, this person's Australian, you don't even deserve to wear a hat with Australia on it. You make the name look like a disgrace. Okay. I specifically wore the hat just for this comment. Just because I wear an Australia hat, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Now, I made a video called Dot Dot Curve Suck Rocket Ship to the Moon is Garbage. I spent about six minutes explaining why the lyrics were pathetic, they were meaningless, their music is garbage. I hardly swore in that video. In fact, this was probably one of the videos that I swore the least in on my whole fucking YouTube career, and I swear a lot. And I didn't slate the group in any way, I didn't slate, slate scene kids in any way, I just targeted the lyrics. And the fact that you don't have any kind of the defense for, for the group's music, the only thing that you can judge me on is the fact that I have Australia printed on my fucking hat. It's a hat, it's, it's, it's just, it's like a, it's like a t-shirt. If I wear a t-shirt with Nike on it, what, what, what are you going to say about that? What's the fucking point? It's retarded. Fucking retarded. Next comment. Okay, so from time to time on the internet, I will get attacked by a fucktarded fantard who will just scream abuse at me for no reason, apart from just having an opinion. And here it is. I'm going to say it in my derpy derp derp, tra la 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 voice. 
do die, you fucking twat. JLS are loved more than you know, and people are crying over them. And yes, me, JLS are the best. You are really jealous because they can sing, and you can't, you fat shit. Just go fuck yourself, no one likes you. Pfft. Okay, we have another JLS fan here. I understand that you might not like their music. Yes, I don't like their music. They can't be for everyone. You got that one right. But the slag them off and saying they have no talent and you're glad that they split up is harsh. It may very well be harsh, but I'm being honest with you. They are the reason that I'm alive today. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. As they are the reason others are too. So you speak for other people. Who are these people? Because show them. Show these other people that they saved their lives. So I'm sorry, but we are bound to be upset. Right, first of all, yeah, why don't you just try speaking for yourself and not for other people? Okay? You state, they are the reason that I'm alive today. It's funny how the only people that ever come out with these kind of comments, they're the reason I'm alive today. I wouldn't be breathing if it wasn't for this group. The only people that ever seem to come out with these comments are teenagers, scene kids, people who listen to this kind of music by people like Justin Bieber. It's, these are the only people I've ever heard. You go onto any heavy metal or any blues or any rock or any of these other groups or bands, you never hear these fucking comments. You only hear them coming from one kind of fan you know so what you're trying to tell me is the only reason you're alive so nothing else contributed for you being alive apart from their music it had nothing to do with family friends that got you through your life it's solely the fucking music so in theory if i went round to your house and i i came i broke into your house and i stole all your jls material your cds and dvds of jls and I stole your hi-fi and your television, and you were locked in a room for one month without listening to JLS. You're trying to tell me that you'd fucking do yourself in and commit suicide. You need to get a fucking life and get a grip on reality, you stupid, dumb fucking shitbag. Next comment. Okay, here's another comment, and this is how she started it. OMG, in full caps, like, why the fuck do you have to put shit in full caps? Well, it's like, I can't understand it. In just normal? Okay. OMG, you're so mean. First of all, I think I've seen your videos before. Wonderful, a fan. <laughs> I've seen your videos before. You were kind of funny. But now you're just being a whore. All right, so chances are, if you've watched one of my 240 videos on Watchdog Central, most of the time I'm ranting on people, which means you probably laughed at me ranting on somebody who you despise but all of a sudden you wake up one morning I've made a video and I'm going against someone you love you cherish you adore so so much now you've got oh, oh you've got all butt hurt oh, my fucking ass is hurting cut you fucking pleb I had to use a jump cut there because I had to run to the toilet and get some butt hurt cream okay but now you're just being a whore. Seriously, all you do is make fun of talented people just so you can get a few laughs. Yeah, and I got a laugh from you, you dumb cunt. Remember that? Do you remember when you said you laughed? I got it from you, but now, now it's not okay. Oh my fucking days. I got a few laughs and raking some views. Yeah, and I got at least two views from you, you fucked hard. I mean, they both suck dick, I agree. But you're just making a video about it. Oh right, so the two bands I slated in the video, JLS and One Direction, both suck dick. You don't like either of them. Yet you've got extremely butthurt by sending me a comment like this in from two bands that you don't even like. I smell some bullshit coming from you. They both suck dick, I agree, but you're just making a video about it to get views. Everybody who puts videos up on YouTube would like to get views. What is your fucking point? You know, I've actually, actually, let's just carry on with this. To get more views, that's just wrong on so many levels. Yeah, it's wrong on so many levels that people make YouTube videos to get views. Are you retarded? 
If you're going to make fun of people, don't make fun of them in a British accent. See, this might burst your bubble, you motherfucker, yeah, but I come from Britain. I can't speak any other language. Would you like me to, would you like me to learn a different language and maybe rant and then maybe it might feel better for you to listen to? You fucking prick. Because your British accent is gay. How would you like me to? Would you want me to speak Jamaican, man? You want to speak in blood? I do it in Jamaican, man. Get a life, babe. You're a fucking pussy hole. Oh, give me fucking strength. JLS fans are hypocritical. Their double standards go through the fucking roof. Just listen to this shit. Please don't take this the wrong way. I can feel something coming on here. Question mark. Please don't take this the wrong way. Okay, question mark. Was that a fucking question? Okay. And TBH, to be honest, it is your choice on what you think of them. Sounds good so far, right? And then straight after. But maybe keep it to yourself. I have run out of words. Straight after that. It's not nice to say things about the bands. Also, what did they do to you? Okay, well, you can say what you want about JLS. No offence. <laughs> That's the end of the fucking comment. <laughs> <laughs> Next fucking video. Fuck. One Erection is a bunch of crap. Remember, I slagged off One Direction and JLS in the same video. One Erection is a bunch of crap, but when it comes to JLS, you better watch your mouth. Once again, why is it okay that I slag off one group but not the other? You fucking hypocritical cunts. One Erection is a bunch of crap, but when it comes to JLS, you better watch your mouth, you twat. By the way, you do need talent for the X Factor. Especially when Simon Cow is judging. Right, first off, Simon Cow is a corrupt motherfucker. Corrupt as fuck. What makes him a great judge? That he's mean to people. Does that automatically mean that he's good at judging talent? No, it just means that he's a mean motherfucker. And he is corrupt as fuck. And it's, pro it's been proven in the past. He's a corrupt, dodgy bastard. He always puts little pretty boys through. If you watch the last American fucking X Factor, it's fucking rigged to shit. Simon Cow is judging you with he was to JLS. This is all broken up bollocks, you can't even spell properly. To JLS, you are just jealous of their fame, fortune, bodies, faces, and ability to sing. So next time, get your facts straight. You thick. Well, the fact that you can't even fucking spell properly makes you thick as shit. Next comment. JLS once again, and I can assure you that this is probably one of the most retarded emails I've ever received due to the fact that there's not one point in this whole email that this girl sent to me where she actually defends their music. You're, and you spelt your, just you are. Why? I just wish people would learn to just appreciate spelling a little bit. You're a fucking prick. So you start off by insulting me. Okay. Seriously, dude, get over yourself. The JLS are true to their fans. They do so much for charity. Once again, what the fuck does their music have to do with what charity work they do? If you look at, you know, things like Children in Need on the BBC every year, you notice that a lot of these, I guess, untalented singers always do charity work. You know, there's a reason why they do it. It's because it gives them a lot of publicity towards their group. This is why a majority of people, you'll always see shit groups and shit bands and shit artists in general coming on to BBC's Children in Need because they don't have much fucking talent. They're all mainstream fed bullshit artists. This is why. They do so much for charity, nothing to do with singing. They even have their own foundation for charity. In support of cancer research. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm happy that they're helping charities out like Cancer Research. It's a great charity to give to. But once again, what the fuck does that have to do with music? Nothing. You don't understand the meaning of life. 
No, I don't. I don't. I don't understand any of it. I'm just a pleb here making videos for no fucking reason. As you're just a fat potato. <laughs> ah, fried potato. I do actually like potatoes. Sitting at home making the most pointless videos ever. Why? Because it goes against something that you love. You blatantly are envy of them. I'm envious of them. Sure I am. Prove in any way why I'm envious of this group. Prove it. Where's the proof? I'm giving you facts and reasons why I don't like a group. There's no, there's no envy. There's no jealousy. You are blatantly are envy of them as seen as they have the six pack abs. I've got a six pack. Only problem is it's covered up with a load of fucking flab. But it's, it's in there. I fucking felt it once. I was in the toilet in the bathroom about six months back and I pushed really hard and I fucking went into my stomach and I felt something. It may have been a bone, but hey, bones are six packs. They're all the same thing, right? And all you have is a six pack of beer in your fridge. <laughs> classic, classic. I don't actually drink alcohol. Well, I try not to. I actually, I don't drink alcohol because it's bad for you. Remember that, kiddies. Yeah, so that, that was it. As you can see, not one single thing to do with their music. Just insults, um, calling me a fat potato and I like to drink beer in my fridge. Now, you can call me fat, yeah, sure. I'm chubby, chubby, chubby. But I'm not thick as shit like you are. You have a six pack of beer in your fridge. Where's the proof? Prove it. Have you been inside my house? Did I give you a key to, did I let you into my house? Did you break into my house one day when I was out? You fucked hard. Next fucking comment. We have a One Direction fan here. Well, fuck you. What a wonderful way to open a comment. Well, fuck you, but pretty funny video. I'm glad you like my shit. Got to admit, but as my opinion, One Direction is amazing. Saying these mean things aren't going to make them go away. They're great singers and amazing people. I'm happy you think this. All you're doing is creating more hate. Hate. I'm not creating hate, I'm just giving my opinion. To you it's hate, to other people it's a wonderful thing. It depends how you perceive things in life. To me, this video and all these videos about them are retarded. <laughs> if this is your opinion, shut the fuck up, STFU. Keep it to yourself. No, fuck off, you little cunt. Next comment. We have a blood on the dance floor fan here. You are a dumb fuck. Thank you, God bless you, thank you for caring. I am cursing right now in my head. Really? Why are you typing? Okay, okay. Because you just talk shit and you're not supposed to do that. Really? Who, who said that? What, what book did that come out of you, motherfucker? You're not supposed to talk shit? And put it on the internet. <laughs> but you've just posted a retarded comment to me and put it on the internet. Surely you're not supposed to talk shit either then. You hypocritical bitch. And put it on the internet. I'm seen. Do you have to state your scene? I don't give a fuck whether you're seen. I don't give a fuck whether you're an Eskimo or an alien. Go fuck your mother, you little shit brick duck fucker. Okay? Unbelievable. You call me a dumb fuck and you come out with shit like that. I'm seen and I like B-O-T-D-F and you put it in full caps like I wouldn't have fucking understood it if it wasn't in full caps. Derp derp. And Shane Dawson. Okay, so you end bit. I'm seen and I like B-O-T-D-F and Shane Dawson. So, stuff you. Okay, we have a Lady Gaga fan here. Lady Gaga is just creative and her outfits match all her songs. What the fuck does that do with the woman that got Gwang to you? Huh? I'm a fucking stylist. Oh, mother. All her songs don't compare. You have no right. Ugh. Oh, fuck yourself, you piffle shit. Okay, I've got six minutes left on my camcorder. We shall make this the final email. I received this as a private message. Um, entitled hello criticizing much so this is her opinion hello hello to you too no you love to express your feelings and so but don't you think about the others when you criticize some band youtuber celebrity types of people yes i think before i say things i'm a mix of things i love skrillex good for you that's why i shaved half of my head i don't give a fuck 
I love Lady Gaga and Blood on the Dance Floor. Good for you. That's why I express myself so much without hurting people's feelings and I don't use a tiny part of time to make videos about criticising others. That's your way of going, going through life. You know, a lot of people bend over and take it up the arse all the way through their life and don't question nothing. If that's your way of life, good for you, but it's a stupid way to go through life in my opinion. So please, even if you put this in your video, just understand that hurting other people's feelings or criticising their opinions doesn't mean that you have the right to say those nasty things. Giving your opinion can mean you can say anything the fuck you like. It means I can be nasty, as nasty as I want to be. You know, I could pull my dick out and start spurting all over the place if I wanted to. It can get pulled down, but I have the right to do it. I ain't going, I'm not going to get arrested for it. Most of my YouTube video will be pulled, you feel me? I do what the fuck I want to do in life. I'm not a little my boy, so go fuck yourself. I watched your video, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for giving me the extra view. And thanks for wasting about 10 minutes of your time typing out an irrelevant, pointless fucking email to me. But hey, you did give me some more material for my email section special, so... Thank you. And I would like to know more of your ways. Well, you're not, this is the most you're going to get. I'm never going to email you. I never responded to the email, but I responded to my subscribers. I didn't subscribe, thank you, because I don't need fucktars like you subscribing to me. But I hope you get my message loud and clear. Fuck you. End of video, motherfuckers. Okay, fuck it, I've got a couple minutes left. I'll just, this one's fresh off the boat. Just came in only 28 minutes ago. Ooh, what a cool looking person. You're just an attention whore. Get your fat ass a real job and stop hating on people that you can't be. You're assuming that I don't have a job. So I've responded back to you, Vanity Johnny. I am a very successful chef with a chain of restaurants up London. Hence the weight, because I am a fat fuck. And I love your hair, by the way. I wish I could have some, but I am nearly bald. I'm nearly bald, star. But thanks for the cool comment. Love you. That's how you should always respond to comments. Show as much love as possible. Don't give them a chance to come back with anything because they are fuck tired. This is Watchdog Central, and there's my little doggy beaming the fuck out. I shall see you in the next video. Peace out, bitches.